Okay, hey there boys and girls. So today we're going to try and use the Intex solar heater. This is a um, matte style. It is roughly four foot by four foot. It's like 47 inches they say. And it comes with the mat. It comes with one hose. This hose is about two foot long and it's the inch and a quarter diameter. It comes with a diverter valve that fits on the mat itself and the valve diverts the fluid away from the solar array, I guess you'd say, and but it still goes through the mat, okay? And goes out the outlet on the other side. If you notice the placement of the inlet and outlet, that may um, affect how many hoses you have to have to hook this up. Also, it comes with a couple of fittings. It comes with an adapter to go from the inch and a half female and male. Alright, so if you had the inch and a half it would obviously fit on the bigger part. Threads into like your pump or something like that. And then has the female side that would go in the adapter like so. And has a clamp and all that. Has little clamps to clamp it all together with the tubing. There's one, two, three, four, five, six hose clamps. Should be enough to do what you're trying to do. All right, because there's already one on here. This should all fit pretty much most people's need. What you might need, depending on your setup, is you might need a longer hose. And the way my pole is set up, I'm probably going to have to use a longer hose because of where I want to place the solar panel. So, we will get on that next. We'll hook it up and we'll uh, have to let it sit for a while and see if it gets any hot water out of it. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Also wanted to show one thing I could not find on the internet and I wanted to put it in my video is how many of these solar heaters do they recommend per the pool size? So I'll try and take a picture of this and put it at the end. But as you can see we have at our house the 14 by 42 and it says I need four of them. <laughs> all right, and that's all in Spanish right there. There is English and there's other languages also. But I'll take a picture of that in English and we will uh, put that at the end of the video so you guys can take a look at that and see how many they recommend for your size pool because the ad will tell you one will do it. I didn't think it would. We'll see how it does though. So this is the way I did the setup here with the solar heater. We have two of them. Uh, one of them worked fairly well. Two of them obviously works a little bit better. So originally I did it in, in series, meaning that it goes through one solar heater, came out, went through the other solar heater, and came back in. Um, that added quite a bit of back pressure. So what I did was I split them and put them in parallel. So it goes through this one, and it splits off here, and goes over through that one, and then they come out of the solar heaters and reconnect at this one, and go back into the ground, and goes back in the pool. So it pumps it out of the pump, through both solar heaters, and then back over here to the pool. So, how well does it work? Well, we have a solar cover. That's the first thing. It definitely helps a lot with that. Um, but the water actually coming out of here is noticeably warmer. Um, I'd say it's about normally about two to three degrees warmer than what the surrounding water in the pool is. And this morning, before I turned this on, the pool was 84 degrees. And now we are at 86. So, there we go, you can see that, 86 degrees. So it's warmed it up two degrees within about, I think the pump's been running for about an hour and a half. Um, we've had the pool up to 94 a few days ago, and then of course it rained for three days in a row. So I would actually say that this actually works out of all the solar heating ideas I've seen. This is by far the easiest and the cheapest. Uh, I think the solar panels, I bought one for like 25 bucks from Walmart, and the other one I think was 27 or something like that. Um, if you want to mount your heater somewhere farther away than your pool, tech tip here, um, they only come an inch and a half hose diameters. They have adapters and pieces to make it fit your um, 
well, it's inch and a quarter, I'm sorry. It, they have adapters to make it fit your inch and a half pipe. But if you need to mount this thing farther away, what I did was I went on Intex website and found replacement parts for their vacuum. And the hose for the vacuum is 25 feet, so I bought two of those hoses, replacement hoses, so I could run it over to my pump. If not, you'd have to be PVCing, and it's an odd size, so nothing ever fits it. But anyways, that's it. I, the solar heater works really well. The um, solar cover helps a lot too. Um, but the heater actually, you can feel warm water coming out even after an hour of it running. I thought it would be warm at first and then dissipate, but it actually stays warm, which is pretty amazing. And sometimes in the morning when this doesn't even have sun over here, I've actually can feel warmth coming out of the uh, hoses on the other side. So anyways, boys and girls, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. And that's a little review of the Intex Solar Heater.